Uh, but back to the story, man. Back to the story. Yeah, shit, y'all gonna make me tear up. <laughs> y'all gonna make me tear up, man. I, you know, because I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad because I'd be like, I wish my mom was here, bro. Because I, cause I got money now to give to her. So it's like... <sighs> that would be fire, man. I could just give her all the money ever. Because we never had that shit, man. But um, that's besides the point. Point is, let's get to the story time, man. So I was li- I was living with my grandma. When I was living with my grandma, I used to go to school. They wake me up in the morning. Actually, they didn't wake me up in the morning. Start frauding. They didn't wake me up in the morning. When I lived at my grandma's house, it was me, my grandma, and my aunt. So what us being there, my grandma stayed sleeping, my aunt stayed sleeping. Low key, if I wanted to stay home, I could have just slept in. Like nobody gave a fuck. I woke myself up. You ever feel guilty? Like I woke up in the morning. Like, the first day that I realized, like, yeah, they're not paying attention to me. I'm just like, mm, I can stay asleep, stay asleep. The next day, I woke up like, bro, let me get up. I feel guilty because I'm not leaving because I know I could get over. It's like, I'm not about to just be a delinquent for nothing. So I start going to school. But that's besides the point. So when I walk into school, my grandma house was on 7th and Lehigh. I needed to walk to Broad and Lehigh, bro. Broad and Lehigh. You feel me? Broad Street is a, a couple like eight blocks up. Now, if you if you walk up, you can walk on Lee. If you walk from Huntington to, to Lehigh, if you don't know what that is, I live on Huntington. That's let's just say I live on the middle block. And to get on the main block, you gotta walk two blocks up and then walk straight up. You gotta walk two blocks to get to the main block and walk to the main block to your destination, right? Boom. If you walk through the back blocks, it's better because now you don't gotta do all that. You don't got to do all that. So I used to walk through the back blocks. Walking through the black, the back blocks, yes, it is dangerous. I know North Philly is dangerous and all that. But my thing was, damn, ain't nobody going to harm me. It's 6 in the morning. It's 7 in the morning. I'm not going to lie, bro. If you wake up on demon time trying to whoop niggas' asses at 6 or 7 in the morning, you're wild. You're wild. I don't know. I just feel like the killers be up all night. So as a killer that's up all night, why are you up in the morning? I don't know. I just I, That was my logic. So, walking during the morning time, you know, wake up and pop a perk. They don't sleep. <laughs> Thought wrong? Yes, I did. So, first time walking, the first couple times, it was okay. The first couple times I was walking through the back blocks, it was fine. It got me to my destination quicker. You feel me? Now, it's different because people that's dangerous stay up at nighttime. So, if you think, yo, I'm walking for 4 in the morning, I'm going to walk outside. It just take for one 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 murderer to see you, bro, and just want to fuck with you. you. You feel me? But my thing is, if y'all stay up all this time, y'all definitely sleep during the night, uh, during the morning. Nobody is up 6, 7 in the morning. It doesn't ever make sense. But walking through the back box got me there faster. So I was walking through the back box. First couple days, it's cool, right? I go to school, just that and the third, ha, ha, ha. When you know nobody home is caring about what time you get off, what time you, you, you come home from school, if you even go to school or anything like that at all, you leave when you want. That's when I started my cutting cut school phase. Around 11th grade, I started cutting class. Not cutting class like, oh, I'm just cutting school to do drugs. or Like, I never I never was smoking. I never was doing none of that. That's not me. So a lot of y'all be like, yo, Rod, that's not you. Yeah, uh, thank you. Like, I'm, I'm happy I don't cut school to smoke weed. What the fuck? That don't make y'all cooler. You still broke, nigga. Um, anyways, back to the point. I wasn't cutting to just do that. I would, like, just cut, go grab some food. Like, I used to do dumb shit, like, cut, go grab some food, and, like, sit on somebody's steps on a main block and just eat food. Or, like, like on some greedy shit, poppy stir food. Grab a cheesesteak platter, eat food, go home. You feel me? So it looked like I was there the other day. You feel me? Like like I was there the whole day, you know? You ain't had friends? Yeah, I, I had I had Nas. But um, this around the time... This around the time uh, I, I, I was moved with him, but it was like, uh, you know, we was lying to his mom. We was lying to Nas mom about me living there. So some days I would go to my uh, grandma's house. But um, I used to go to the library. Yeah, right? You had a tough ride. Oh, I know, bro. I know. I'm going to release a documentary so y'all could hear everything. Everybody like, yo, Rod, you need a movie. I'm going to release a documentary so y'all could see everything, bro. That y'all fuck around and make y'all cry, bro. Y'all go- <laughs> that y'all fuck around and make y'all cry. But um, that's besides the point. Why y'all was lying? Oh, because uh, Nas' mom was like, yo, is he moved in with us? And I was like, nah. 
Nas was like, nah, because we thought she was going to say no about me moving in. But, um... But yeah, um, I was walking there, and and I, I, it was a very free life. Like I, I could do whatever I wanted to. The first morning everything started, it was crazy. It was crazy. You ever feel like your stomach dropping your ass, like you about to lose your life? That happened to me the first morning. I realized shit wasn't shit wasn't. You feel me? What it what it what it was for real for real. So I'm walking right. It takes five blocks to get to the main block. I walk through block one. Piece of cake. And I used to have earphones in. Y'all know the little earphones, you, the wire earphones that you plug into the, uh, once the iPhone 7 come in, you plug them into the charger port. Everybody like, why would y'all make it in the charger port? This, that, and the third. You know, you know, Apple make a lot of products that have us saying like, why would y'all do that? And then we just get used to it. Stop complaining. It becomes the norm. They dicking us. I'm not gonna lie. We gotta stand our ground with Apple, bro. They dick us every time, bro. They do shit that, that's like, yo, Apple, why the fuck would you do that? And then we just get used to it. At first, it's like, bro, why would y'all make these new chargers? Who the fuck has these? Now it's, get off my fast charger. <laughs> AirPods? Why would somebody pay $150 for those? I'm not paying $150 for AirPods. Everybody has them. <laughs> they dicking us, bro. <laughs> they dicking us, bro. They dicking us. And we can't control it, bro. We can't control it. Apple keep cooking us. And you know what else they doing? This is what they do. Y'all, this is the iPhone 14 uh, Pro. This joint boxed. Remember, they took the box away and said, ooh, more slim. Why are we back to the box? Hello? Leak. Leak, go grab him. Leak. Little ass neck. Hold up. Yeah, no, we back to the box, y'all. Pete, the iPhone 6 was slim. We was at the iPhone 4 and the 5. It was boxed up. And now, now it's, now it's, oh, we back to the box. They don't ever say, ooh, a new slimmer phone. I swear to God, the next two new two phones that they drop, it's, it's going to be slimmer than ever. The iPhone Air 16 Pro Max. Can I tell you, bro, they keep getting us. Bro, y'all remember, bro, I begged my mom. I begged my mom for this. Look, I begged my mom for this. Mom, look, when you push the button, when you push it, when you push the button, you can, it's going to pop up. It's going to pop. I don't use this. Who uses that? Who uses that? I don't use that. Remember that shit came? Like, yo, you push, you push the app and now, bro, you push the app and now it. Come on, bro. I begged my mom. I begged her. Nobody uses it. They keep getting us. That's besides the point, though. I got my ear. I got my earphones on. I'm walking down block one. I'm walking down block two. Everything going good. Everything going fine. <laughs> What's up, my? Everything going fine. Block one. Block two. Block three. Around block four, I see at six. 47 in the morning it's four black niggas in full nike suits sitting on the step smoking weed so now i don't take the headphones off because that's gonna make it seem like i'm aware of what's going on what's up bro it's gonna make it seem like i'm aware of what's going on How you doing, and now i'm feeling good gang I'm gonna bring you in soon. Don't walk it, don't walk it, don't walk it. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna make it seem like I'm aware of what's going on. You feel me? And I don't wanna seem like I'm aware of what's going on. You know? So I instead of taking a headphone out, I turn it all the way down. I turn it all the way down, right? Who the fuck is Chris? Y'all chill out, bro. I just do this, I turn it all the way down. So I'm turning it down. Mind you, y'all want to know what I was bumping? Y'all want to know what I was bumping? Ask me what song I was bumping. Rare? No. I was bumping Rihanna. I was. 
I was bumping Rihanna. Where have you been? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, huh? Look to the left, thugs. Oh. Turned it all the way down, mind you. Mind you. Mind you. Mind you. I'm, bro, she been dicking me her whole life. So <laughs> I'm bumping Rihanna and then I see the thug. So I'm like, huh? So I turn it down. I keep walking. They say, yo, hey, young boy. I keep walking because I got headphones in. So if I got headphones in, you're not supposed to be knowing that I can hear you. I keep walking. As I keep walking, bro, I finally make it to the end of block five, six, whatever. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the bus. Boom, I make it through. I am now aware that block four and five is hot, right? Block four and five is hot. So now, more than two go by. Now I'm walking. Before I get to block four, I walk across the street. I look straight down. I see nobody. I cross the street. I see nobody. I walk straight down. I cross the block on block four. I'm like, thank God I made it. Turned it back up. These niggas is walking like in the middle of the street on block five. I bang a right. Bang another left. Now I'm on the main route. You feel me? I know. New route ASAP. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to switch the route up. Come on. I'm already knowing that. I already bang a right. Now I go to another block. Boom. Bang a left. You feel me? Now I make it to my destination again. Every single day, it seemed like they up the difficulty on me, bro. It seemed like they up the difficulty on me. Day, day, day four. Walking. Boom. I ain't never going to walk on block, uh, block four and five. I'm going to bang a right at block three. Boom, bang a right at block three. Boom, bang a left. Now I'm on Lehigh. I'm going to just walk the brother Lehigh on the main strip. There's more eyes here. There's more people here. They're not going to get me. Now I'm chilling. I'm chilling for like five days. We on day 11. They didn't up the difficulty to master. They didn't turn the difficulty up. You know what these niggas do? These niggas drive around in a car. Apparently it pissed apparently it pissed them off that I keep walking through their block and not checking in. Why do I need to check in to go wait for the four or the sixteen bus? I don't know. I don't know. Apparently they wanted me to check in. And I and I'm gonna tell you at the end how I know they wanted me to check in. Apparently. They up the difficulty. Apparently they own a crown vic. They own a Crown Vic, so they, if you don't know what a Crown Vic is, bro, those are the most dangerous cars, I'm trying to tell you, bro, those are the most dangerous cars ever, hold up, let me really show y'all, bro, Crown Vic, tenant windows, look, White John, with rust coming off the back. With rust in the back. Look, white crown Vic. Black tinted windows. Rusty back. Uh, a spare tire in the back. All of this. Look, just they, just they whip. Just they whip. So look, so look. It's like day 15, they up the difficulty. La, 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 la. I'm walking. It's a party in the USA. Put your hands up. 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 Oh, I start running my ass off. I'm like, no. Bro, the Crown Vic is driving. So it looked like it stopped at the light. But I don't wait for the light. You got to wait for the light because a car can hit you. I can easily just start jaywalking. I jaywalked. That's when I did the first look. Okay. Then I realized, damn, bro, they driving slow. What's going on? Start walking faster. Then I realized every time I move, they move. I stop. I stop a little bit, but I try to make sure I'm in between the cars. So I'm like, if, if something happened, I could duck behind this car. And, and, and as I'm trying to duck behind the car, I see, oh, shit. It's the niggas. I automatically run. <gasps> Bro, my stomach dropped to my ass because I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm, I'm on a type tip like, yo, I'm about to lose my life. Bro, I run to the bus stop and I'm in the middle of the street. I'm like, yo, if they, if they, if they hop out the car, I'm going to just run. As soon as they pull up, they pull up. 
Yambo, next time you walk through, through my block, you check in. Pull off. Pull the window up. <laughs> Alright. That's cool. Mind you, I'm thinking, damn, they want me to check in. Bro finna die for not checking in. It's a doctor's visit? Fuck, I gotta check in for. It's a signing sheet? You're blocked? You don't own no, you don't own no land. You don't own no land. You probably don't pay the rent for the house y'all stay in. Your car is probably pat. You probably you probably don't have no inspection stickers. This is probably a stolen vehicle. You don't have insurance on it. Like you feel me? Like you don't even own your vehicle, bro. You feel me? Like that's my thing with niggas. That's my thing. That's my thing with niggas. So look, I'm thinking, yo, they saying check in. I don't have to check in anymore because I'm not I'm not walking on your block. I'm not walking on your block anymore. I'm banging the right. I'm automatically banging the right when I get to your junk, so I don't have to check in anymore. You feel me? So for like a month, I'm cool. I'm cool for like a month. For a month, I'm just banging that right, whatever. I don't got to check in. I don't got to check in. You feel me? I don't got to check in. One day, I'm walking. He own Philly? No. One day, I'm walking. I see on that main block, on that main block right there, it's all these like church people on the corner in the morning. I'm walking past them, and as I'm walking past them or whatever, they like, yo, if you could cross the street, it's disrespectful. Funeral home, funeral home, all this. I'm like, all right, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Funeral home, I'm walking on the main strip. I'm on Lehigh, I'm on, I'm on the new route, the safe route. As I'm walking on the safe route or whatever, it's just a lot of sketchy shit going on. So I look to the left, and I'm like, ah, it's going to be a little faster. No, I guess they was like praying or whatever and crying. And I'm, I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. And he, bro, you being disrespectful. I'm like, and I wanted to say, yo, bro, it's not my fault your niggas died. But that don't have nothing to do with me. But you feel me? Why? I don't know who the fuck does funerals at 7 in the morning anyway. Get some rest, bro, so you can cry properly, bro. Do your thing. You ain't ever doing it right, bro. That's That's me personally. But besides that... I'm on the type of time like, yo, it's real sketchy on the main block. So I'm looking to the left and I'm like, damn, only if I get to go down block five, if I go, if I get to go down block five, then boom, it's going to be a little better because it's going to be on a type of time like, yo, I'm going to get there faster. I'm telling y'all that block gets you there faster. It's really a shortcut. So I'm like, ah, I'm like, fuck it. So I bang, I bang a left and now I'm on block five, the block they told me not to be on. I don't see nobody. I already skipped block four going through the main block. So on block five, I'm just like. I'm cool. So I'm walking. I'm, I'm playing no music. I'm walking. And I'm walking fast. I'm walking fast. And I make it. I make it. I get to the corner. When I get to the corner, I hear behind me. You don't learn your lesson, young boy? Niggas start doing this. Chasing me on foot. If we on foot, you're not catching me. As they chasing me on foot, I'm walking back. I'm walking, I'm, I'm running back to the main block. When I'm running back to the main block, the Crown Vic is blitzing me, though. The Crown Blitz is, the, the Crown Vic is blitzing me. It's coming from the main block as two niggas is chasing me from the jaw, right? Bro, just let me get to the bus. Mind you, I'm just trying to be a good student. That's all I'm trying to do. Apparently, you can't be a good student nowadays. Rod, did you do track? Uh, I did a hood track, bro. Look, now they're closing in. At the end of the day, you're in the vehicle, so I'm going to keep running straight. So I keep running straight. I don't know what they thought they was doing with that. So I feel like I had a checkmate. As soon as I feel like I had a checkmate, I look up. It's a black ass nigga. Look, slow mo. It's a black ass nigga that cut me off. The nick. So look, slow mo. Two niggas behind me. A nigga in front of me. And it's a car to my left with two more niggas getting out. So I'm like, what? What? Let me show y'all the move I hit. I automatically test the ground, boom, hit the curve move, and start bolting back to Granny's crib. Bro, automatically, bro. I don't care if they whoop my grandma's ass. I automatically just wasn't about to get my ass whooped. Bro, I hit this. Look, you automatically, you gotta hit the, you feel me? Drop down, oh, oh, oh. run to the right. As I'm running to the, bro, they not catching me, bro. That's, you feel me? They don't know about that move, especially if you hit the hop step. I didn't hit the hop step that time. Firstly, the hop step is where you you jump before you if you get that first it's like it's like it's like a jab step you know in basketball you hit the jab step like you feel me oh that look gay my fault I'm poking my ass up you hit the jab step I'm like ah you feel me I hit the jump hit the run I'm like yo 
I'm doing my thing. The hop give you a boost. That's what I'm saying. So, boom. I'm running right back to my grandma's crib. Now they know where I live. They pull off. You pussy, young boy. Why I had to get called a pussy? I don't know. I don't really fuck with being called a pussy. I'm like, damn, bro. I ain't really. You fuck. My grandma come downstairs. Get the fuck out my house. You think you want to skip school? Bro, she never, ever say nothing. Ever. Today, she say, you think you could just skip school? Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Bro, she never say nothing. Bro, the time I skipped school, I used to be like, yo, what's up, grandma? What's up? This, that, and the third. This, that. She say, yeah, what you trying to skip school? Get out my house. Go do something. I say, grandma, some people trying to fight me. She, y'all could do all that play fighting out there. Out, out my house, though. Let's go. So I'm like, what? So now I'm sitting on a step. I'm just sitting on a step, bro. Acting like you a threat. Bro, that's what I'm saying. She, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, grandma got paid. Bro, she probably did get paid to backdoor me. I'm like, I'm not play fighting. They really trying to hurt me. She said, tell your teacher then. I said, it's not in school. It's people on the block. She walk another way then. You can't think. You don't got a head. Just stand the third all this. Like what? I ultimate I ultimately just sat on the step, bro. Waited till I heard my grandma go back upstairs, snuck back in. I didn't go to school for a week. They called my they called my mom, because my mom wasn't dead or dead at this time or nothing. She just was um I, I just wasn't with her. So um she she they called my mom like yo, he's not coming to school. My my he my mom called me like yo just because you at your grandma house don't mean you don't don't gotta go to school go to fuck the school or or like it's going it's going it's going like I'm gonna turn up on you you feel me she's like oh, I'm gonna turn up on you so now I'm like bro I'm like bro what the fuck. Your grandma was that time. And... No, my grandma was a weirdo, actually. She still is. Is she a weirdo? But, um, boom. I go to school. I walk as far up as I can and to the left. I'm going as far up as I can and to the left. Now I'm going out my way. Y'all, I went out my way for like two months, bro. Like, I was tired of taking that walk. And I was telling my friends about what happened, and they was like, dang, bro, niggas ain't doing that to me. This, that, and the third. All this, all this. They gassed my head right up. I'm like, bro, check into a block? I'm not checking into nothing. The next day, I left my backpack because it be slowing me down. I put a pencil and a pen in my pocket. I put my headphones away. I said, bro, I'm walking through the block, bro. I got to stand up for myself, bro. I got to. I walk down block four. I see them niggas on the step. I keep walking. Hey, young boy, what's your name? Rod. And I live on 7th Street. Kept walking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You feel me? That that might have been a little swaggy. It might have been a little swaggy because it was on the type of time like, damn, why you, why, you, why you talking like that if you can't beat niggas? But it wasn't about that. It was more in the type time like, yeah, nigga. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. So the one boy get up. Only one. They don't chase me this time. So when he walk up, I turn around. I said, what's up, bro? You feel me? I said, what's up? He did not say stay away from my block. I said, bro, at the end of the... Punched me right in my mouth. I fell into the Crown Vic. I fell into the ground, dick. I fell into. I fell into the. I fell into the ground, dick. I. I fell into. As I was holding my face, I saw the four other niggas run up. When I try to run, he grabbed my ankle. He grabbed my ankle. He grabbed my ankle while I try to run. 
<laughs> he pulled me back. I'm <laughs> I'm grabbing the earth. <laughs> I'm grabbing the herb. I'm trying to get a. I'm trying to get away. Nigga, come up, kick me. I'm like, no. <laughs> Next nigga, come up. <laughs> they whooping my ass. They whooping my ass. My mom told me, yo, if somebody jumping you, you grab one and you beat them the fuck up. Right. I automatically cling on to one ball and I get dirty, bro. I get dirty. I get the claws up under these. I grab this jaw. I'm ripping. I'm punching ribs. Oh, oh, oh. As they whooping my ass, the one ball that I was fucking up, bro, as I was fucking him up, he, ah, ah, like he, 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 he stepped back. Dude, what's wrong? I was able to get out. I run. You know, I don't ever go to school, bro. I drip under here. Like, I'm just like, I'm like ripping and I'm just punching a rib as I'm ripping under there. I'm head button. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting nasty, bro. I'm getting nasty. I'm getting nasty, bro. I had to do what I had to do. I had to do what I had to do. Now, at this moment, you would think, damn, right, you got fucked up. Take the L. I didn't take it as an L. The next day, I'm like, watch this. I was thinking, yo, they're around my age. They don't have a gun. Around around that time, like a few years back, if a nigga was around my age, he didn't have a gun. Now it's 15, 16-year-olds catching bodies. Like, you feel me? It's 15, 16-year-olds with no bodies. Uh, you feel me? I grab water balloons the next morning, fill the bag up. I keep two in my hoodie pockets. I'm, run, I'm walking. I know they're waiting for me, bro. It's like they wake up for me. They sitting on the steps. I start running. You same boat. I get away. I go to school. Next morning, I wake up. It's a new John. They used to me coming down this block. They used to me coming down this block. I make sure I'm on the main block, but I make sure I come from the top. When I come from the top, again, water balloon. Right across his mitt. I run again. Bro, I'm like, I'm going to keep turning up on these niggas. I'm like, bro, I'm going to keep turning up on these niggas. This they entertainment, bro. They keep waking up. They keep waking up for it. Every time. I'm like, bro, I'm going to really turn it up on these niggas. I'm going to really turn it up. The next day, I'm like, I got these niggas. Instead of coming all the way around or from the front or from the top, I'm going to come from the bottom. I creep up, y'all. I really court these niggas. I really got these niggas in the headlock. These niggas really on the step. I got the water balloons, bro. My heart thumping. I'm walking like this. I'm walking slow. I see him. I'm like, yo, watch this. Watch this. I'm about to throw them joints. As I'm about to throw them joints, I cock back. A nigga grab my hand. I look back. It's him. I got him! <laughs> he said, I got him. I'm trying to rip away. I'm trying to rip away. Nigga grabbed my other arm. He got me, bro. <laughs> he I got <laughs> all the other niggas running up. Got him, boys. Got It's a got him, boys. Bro, the niggas running up. The niggas running up. And he said, you're not ever going to get the swing back this time. I don't ever want to hit you. I want to hold you down so my homies can hit you. Y'all, when I heard that, I dropped the water balloons out of my hands. My head fell down. My, my whole posture fell down. <laughs> the other niggas running up to me. I'm like, damn. Nigga come straight up. Boom! Hit me. They whooping my ass like bad, bro. 
He said, yo, listen to what he really said. I don't even want to hurt you, bro. I just want to hold you so everybody else could fuck you up. Whoop my ass. Like bad. I'm talking about both lip busted. Black knot. Body hurting. The only reason they stopped is because an old man came out like, hey, leave him alone. Start calling them by their real name. They like, fuck you, old head. He leave him a fuck alone. He pulled out his gun. Then I see move. Just then the third, he walked me back to my um he walked me back to my grandma crib. All this other shit. Nah, it got bad. Nah, yeah, it got bad. Recap. No, nah, not no recap. I actually cut a lot of details out of this story time because we got a special guest here. But I just kind of just skipped. I, I skipped all the school scenes. I skipped me telling my, my uncle. Like, it's so much shit I skipped, but that's what happened. But since I cut this joint so short, I cut this joint short uh, because we got a special guest. But since I cut it short, I'm going to tell y'all story time after uh, he leaves and stuff. All right. I got y'all. I got y'all. But, yeah, that's that's how what happened, y'all. Yo, if you're watching this on YouTube, enjoy this mini story, man. Part two. No, cause then I gotta go back in between the story. That was mad short. It was thirty it was thirty four minutes, but but um and that's not including the intros that we did. Say extra details later. Alright, I'll tell you the details on the side, like besides the video. Feel me? Yeah, I cut it.